Welcome back to Sister Circle oh. Live. You can do that. It's fine. It's, 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 the the you know. <laughs> it's time now for our full circle where we like to spend a little time discussing a subject that's important to us and hopefully meaningful to you. A month ago, during a post-Emmy post press conference, that's a mouthful, a journalist asked Tiffany Haddish about her thoughts on increasing diversity and inclusion in Hollywood, and she had this to say. Girl, no, I'm, I'm not, um, I don't know how to do that. I didn't go to college for that. Um, I didn't even go to college, or nor uh, do I know how to solve problems like that. If you was asking me how to structure a joke, I could help you with that part, but what you're talking about right now, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is how to do my job. Mm. Some people were disappointed in her response, <laughs> while others defended Tiffany saying she's a part of the solution, just being a successful working black actress. Uh, <laughs> Should, I mean, okay, this is what I'm going to say. A lot of people, no matter how big they get, are not good at answering stuff on the spot. Okay. And so I'm not going to justify her, her response, although I thought it could have been a little bit more well done or more well scripted. But I don't want to persecute her for saying that. Um, and nor do I think that we, uh, we do have some responsibility by carrying our community on our back, but I don't think that we should have to carry it at all times. Just because she answered in that way doesn't mean she doesn't believe in inclusion and diversity. That's what I believe. Um, I agree. Mm -hmm. I concur. <laughs> and I would have to add to that. Um, I do, I think that, yeah, maybe she could have answered it different. But she's Tiffany Haddish, yes. and she's being uh, true to herself. Mm. That's there how Tiffany would have answered right. the question. Right. If you don't like that, mm, well, I don't know what to tell you. Right. However, um, I was I remember when this came down to the to, mm -hmm. the to the social media, and I remember a tweet from a young man who was actually, I think, a reporter, and he was saying, you know, I interviewed Jay-Z years ago, mm -hmm. and he gave me the same, same. answer, yep, yep. and no one persecuted him for it. So maybe she's being persecuted because she's a woman. Mm -hmm. And secondly, um, the lady asked her, if I'm not to be mistaken, quote, uh, if I misquoted, please correct me. Um, she basically was asking her, how does she think that there can be more diversity mm -hmm. in Hollywood? Mm -hmm. Well, she's the one that's... Uh, that needs to be included more in Hollywood. Right. So if she had that answer, then she would have given. You know, right. <laughs> you're not the. She's not in charge um, in the in, in that industry. She is the actress. She yeah. is mm -hmm. the the talent. It's up to the people that are calling the shots mm -hmm. to make that decision and answer those questions. And sure. I think maybe that's why she was like, "Why are you asking me? I don't." That's like going down to the bank and being like, um, "So." Why are the colors the way that they are in here? Do you think that there could be more colors? That's asking a teller that. He's going to be like, I don't know. I, exactly. just, I work down to the teller part. Right. You got to ask the person, the, the, the architect who mm -hmm. built who built the building. Right. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right. Or designed but, that. But, but often when something is affecting you, you are well aware of it, and you are well aware of possibly be, being able to bring something to the table to offer up as a solution. Mm -hmm. um, now, Tiffany answered in Tiffany's fashion, as Selena said. I understand that. Uh, personal I think every person has a responsibility to their community, uh, especially uniting the community and then uh, pushing the, the, the culture forward. Mm -hmm. I do. Here's the thing. <clears throat> Years ago, Jay-Z wasn't there. As he has evolved as a man and he has become more woke and he sees what's going on around him and he understands his level of influence, he's evolved to a, a person who is all for the community now. I think we will also see that with Tiffany. Oh, Hattie. absolutely. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 There you yeah. go. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. But I, I, I don't think that... Jay Z meant it when he in a bad way when he meant it. No, that's no, 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 no. Yeah, just, I just I'm think just... the reporter was just trying to say like, <coughs> mm -hmm. well, when he said it, nobody persecuted right. him, but well, when also she part said of the persecution did. is the viral explosion. Yeah, that did that not too. exist he back then. So right. Nobody was viral. able to chime in and be like, oh, Jay Z. Right. Nobody was able to do that yeah. because the whole social network platform. Eh, eh, Right, right. In existence. Now it's easy for, you know, all the uh, thumb thugs. Mm -hmm. Thumb thugs, I like yeah, that. That's true. They, yeah, they, they, might, have, they yeah. might have drugged him. If they, they probably <laughs> they did. Probably they probably would have drugged him. They might have drugged him. So is it fair for us to, or, I mean, us being where we are on yes. this platform, to have to be able to respond a certain way? 
being that we have a no, platform. No, you can't, but no one can tell you how to respond. Thank they, you. You, you, you just can't. I mean, you are, you are responsible as your own being, your own, you're individual, okay? Yeah. It's, uh, so I don't think that no one can tell. I can't tell you uh, what to say to Moni. Mm -hmm. I, I can't. Mm -hmm. Everybody responds um, in a different way. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, well, so I, go ahead. I, I, and, and two, I, I agree again. Mm -hmm. I concur with Paul. Concur. Uh, but I, I do think there is a... Um, as entertainers and as people on the other side of the couch, you mm -hmm. know, I, as I like to call it, um, I think that there is too much responsibility put on us to respond as these role models when we're human beings mm. first that make mistakes regardless of how much money we have, regardless of how much TV mm -hmm. we're on. Mm -hmm. We're still human beings yeah. and we have emotions and feelings just like everybody else. And you don't know what could have been just said right before she that got so that, true. you know what right. I'm saying? Or what happened to her right before that. So I think that we just have to be a little more cognizant of um, what is going on as a whole with a person? Yeah, you know, and, yeah. and actually, like but, when Mohi was here yesterday, she said that we just lack common decency as humans and kind of understanding other people a lot. You know mm -hmm, what I'm saying? I think right. that. But if our stars don't say it, then who's going to be able to say it? And people that people well, that will listen. And, and it's not that they don't say it; mm -hmm. it's how they're saying it mm -hmm. that we might be offended by. You know? Right. Like there's a lot of times, like when um, who's the football player that is um, Cam Newton? Mm -hmm. Remember when he said well, he said it was totally and completely about wrong. About the reporter, right? The female about reporter. the reporter. Oh, but you know I that. don't think that he really was trying to be mean. He probably thought that was funny, right? But it wasn't. But see, and then as as you all have said, as she continues to evolve, I'm sure her her answer may be different. Correct. Had that been me. Uh, of course, I probably would have responded in a much I know, different. I know I would. I, I know you would have responded. I know, I know I all of us would have yeah. responded in a much different way. And so, for that, I do feel like we do have some responsibility to be able to say the right things in the right moments when it matters. Mm -hmm. Will she get there? Most likely, of course, she could stay the same way. Um, but I just feel like uh, in a moment when you have the floor and you have an Emmy in your hand, that is a moment for so many people to see you say and do the right thing. Well, because what's, you just never what's know. Right? Well, not necessarily the right, right thing, but to, to utilize your, yeah, that moment to be impactful. There it is. That's, That's what, it's I mean. not a right or she, wrong she thing. She down to the she sister could, circle full circle. That it, was impactful. Right, right. I think, it, I think it's all relative. It, was, it wasn't anything to change the world. Right. She I think it's nothing I think to, it's, to change the world. I think it's I know. Nothing. Yeah, I think it's all relative. I think it's all relative. For me, it, had it been opposed to me, I would have responded much more differently. I but I have. cannot I judge she, how she yeah. responded. No, if no she judgment. was honest, but if she would have added three more words to that, it would have just completed what she was trying to say. Yeah. And all she would have had to add to what she said, because mm -hmm. she was honest, mm -hmm. I'm standing here. Yes, so that's Ooh. inclusion. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, we right. love you, Tiffany. Yeah. It was just a great full circle uh, uh, topic, and you just had to be, you, you, you were just right there with it. You were right. Okay, <laughs> so tell us how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms.